So today I'll be reviewing Pokemon Journeys Episode 112, Homecoming, the Champion of Alola. This episode was amazing and felt like the perfect Alola return episode. Not only did Lily come home with her family, but so did Alola's champion Ash, who got the best homecoming possible in every aspect. So let's talk about it. The episode starts off with everyone from the last episode arriving in Alola, which includes Chloe who's going for the first time and is nervous because she wants to meet Lana, but Ash tells her not to worry since everyone here is nice. Then we get Lily and everyone's welcome back and that's when Chloe talks to Lana about Eevee and asks her what Sandy, who's Lana's Eevee, is going to evolve into. And Lana says that her Eevee isn't going to choose the 8 evolutions and that it's going to stay on the Eevee path and stay as an Eevee, just like Ash's Pikachu. And that's when Chloe finally realizes that there are more than 8 possibilities when it comes to Eevee. I'm not sure her Eevee character arc is over, but if I had to guess, I think it will end with a new evolution or Gigantamax form. Moving on though, after that, Go axes where Kiawe is and we learn that he's training because he learned that Ash was coming soon. We also find out that Lily and Gladian, along with everyone else, was watching Ash's promotional battle on TV to show their support. After that, we see Gladian get back to training with all of his Pokemon, followed by Ash learning that they're having a battle royal, which Professor Kukui will take part in. We also learn that Professor Kukui won't be wearing the mask anymore because Ash is the champion and the star of the battle and not him, which seemed to be him formally passing the throne and the stardom to Ash, which was great development for him as a champion. So after that we transition into the battle royal the next day where Team Skull is in attendance along with Hal, who looks like he's still mad about his loss in the Alola League, and I love how Ash was getting his full and well deserved recognition from not only his friends but also the crowd as the champion of Alola, I really hope we see this in the Masters 8 too. So then they introduce the participants, first we get Kukui who they call the founder of the Pokemon League, then Kiawe who they call the the Island King in the making, which is pretty cool. And then Gladian, who's the Pokemon League runner-up with his shiny Ultra Beast named Lily. So after that, the battle royal begins and Kiawe, Gladian, and Kukui waste no time and all go after Ash immediately. And Pikachu is able to fight back because of its speed. But then Kiawe and Gladian let Ash know that they've been training too and strike back with Shadow Bone and Venishock and Kukui uses Blast Burn and Pikachu responds to all of this with a Thunderbolt followed up by an Electro Web to stop Incineroar. Then it goes head to head with Incineroar until Gladian attacks them both which leads to Kiawe attacking him and saying that he'll be the one to take down Ash. Then we get a quick rematch between the two of them that Kiawe wins, and Kiawe follows this up by attacking Ash with a Z move that looked pretty good, but Pikachu manages to dodge it by firing a Thunderbolt on the ground, which was an absolutely genius move by him that shocks Kiawe. And while he's shocked, Professor Kukui takes the opportunity to take out Kiawe, making this a 1v1 of the final battle of Alola, and everyone in the crowd starts cheering champion for Ash, which was probably the greatest moment of the episode for me, along with Kiawe and Gladian, who tell Ash to bring home the win in the Masters 8 tournament and to use his full power. So then we see Ash activate his ultimate Z-move along with Kukui, and they go in for the ultimate clash, which we don't actually see since it transitions to Ash on the beach, but it's safe to assume that Ash won. After that, he says that he's glad that he came to Alola, and we see Tapu Koko show up and leave him with a prayer for victory, and the episode ends with Ash saying that he'll do his best in the Masters 8 tournament, and the narrator saying that Ash's family, Alola's people, and Pokemon, and its battles in Tapu Koko are what's pushing Ash forward as he heads towards the Masters 8. Eight. And with that, the episode ends. Like I said at the start of this review, this episode was amazing and felt like the perfect Alola episode. Not only did Lily and her family come back, but we also got to see Ash somewhat defend his Alolan champion title against the best trainers of the Pokemon League. I thought it was great learning that Ash's friends were watching him and supporting him during the World Championships, and I really like how Professor Kukui decided to stop wearing the mask because he wanted Ash to be the only star of the show because he's the champion. And to me, it felt like Professor Kukui was doing two things by setting up the Battle Royal. The first was establishing Ash as the true champion of Alola by letting him know and feel it in battle, and the second was giving him some extra training before the Masters 8 in what was somewhat a title battle against the best trainers of Alola. Even though the battle was cut short because of time, I still think the ending was perfect, especially because we got Ash's reflection at the end of the episode. That moment really reminded me of episode 20 of Sun and Moon, where Ash was saying what he loved about Alola and that he wanted to win the Pokemon League. And that was the same episode where I felt like Ash was going to win the Pokemon League for the first time, and I'm getting the same feeling right now. Overall, this was an amazing episode, and I love how we got two full generations of characters in the same place and time, which hasn't happened in a long time. With that being said, this episode gets a 10 from me. Be sure to give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and bye.